Happy Friday, y'all. Here is our Friday warm up. All right, we got an AMRAP by six minutes. We're starting with a 30 second run, then you got five and five step ups, 10 dumbbell deadlifts, 10 glute bridges, and five and five curtsy squats. All right, starting with that run, you know how to run. Um, then you got five and five step ups. So find a stair, find a chair, find something. And five on the right, five on the left, knock them out. You can transition, just do 10 and all. Then 10 dumbbell deadlifts, so grab that dumbbell. And remember guys, we're going to hinge, then drop. So pushing those hips back, then drop at the bottom right there. Boom, knock out those 10. Make sure we start with our core brace, guys. And we already, even though we're warming up, we're actively thinking about our glutes, we're actively thinking about our core. We want to start that way, so we stay that way. Then we got 10 glute bridges. Down to the ground, pull those heels towards your hips. And then we're driving those hips up. Get a good squeeze at the top and knock them out, guys. Again, just warm up those glutes. And then finally, we got five and five curtsy squats. If this hurts your hips at all, just go body weight squats, but you're gonna reach that leg back behind and kiss that knee to the ground right there. You'll go five on the right, then five on the left. So you're sticking in that position and knocking out, kissing, standing right there. Then, for a workout, guys, we got an AMRAP by 12 minutes, then another AMRAP by 12 minutes. So first one, we got four deadlifts, four jump squats, a minute cardio, but there's a little, a little twist on our cardio. You're going to increase by 15 seconds each round. So maybe have a timer, look at it. Um, so you're not just doing a minute, then you're doing a minute 15, a minute 30, etc. See how high you can get. Then you'll have a two minute transition. So work hard, you get two minutes of rest. That's a good amount of rest. Then AMRAP by 12 minutes again, 30 seconds and 30 seconds single arm dumbbell hold. 20 heel tap over dumbbell. It's gonna be a soft count as well as soft count on 20 plank tap to or plank taps to dumbbell and lastly 10 dumbbell sumo deadlift high pulls. All right guys, you already saw our deadlifts, our jump squats. Make sure we're getting nice and deep and then being explosive, jumping up, jumping nice and high right there. Then our cardio choices, guys. You got those jumping jacks, high knees. You can go down to the ground for those mountain climbers. And again, you can run or you can do jump rope, anything like that. But remember, you are increasing 15 seconds each round. Then, that second part, you have that 30 second, 30 second single arm dumbbell hold. Now guys, if you don't have a super heavy weight, that's okay. We're gonna go into dips then. But one way or another, you're thinking about actively having those shoulders back. The dips, you're going down and then you're squeezing to neutral. Notice how Andrew is not leaning to the other side. We don't wanna do that. No, don't do that. Um, we don't wanna be loosey-goosey in our core, but we're going down and getting a nice tight squeeze at the top. 30 seconds on the right, then you'll switch 30 seconds on the left. But if you do have a heavier weight, you'll just hold. Then 20 heel taps over dumbbell. So you'll have that dumbbell down to the ground and you're gonna lean back a bit. Notice his fingertips are the only thing touching the ground. He's just holding on with his fingertips, but letting his core do the work, tapping and resetting. If this height is a little too hard for you, you can knock it over. And that's a little bit easier, you're not going as high, but make sure we're still keeping that core nice and braced. We're not lying back, but we are leaning back. And then flip that dumbbell back up. Our plank taps, again, soft count. You're gonna be in nice plank position. Make sure your core is braced where hips aren't sagged. We're also not in a pike, but you're going to stay stable in your core while you tap right to left. Make sure we're not rotating but we're just tapping while keeping that core nice and braced. And lastly, we got those 10 sumo deadlift high pulls. So you're gonna hold in the middle, wide legs, go down to mid shin and then pop, explode, squeezing those glutes. Make sure that chest is nice and tall at the bottom and we control that breathing and keep those glutes firing. All right guys, enjoy your Friday workout and your weekend.